Hello everybody, uh, my name is Zufa. Uh, I'm from the duo band called Pre Acoustic. Today I want to share with you guys um, a little bit of my experience using this instrument called the Minor Slap Top Cajon. So uh, a lot of us out there, we are familiar with the traditionally shaped cajon, which is uh, like a box and then you sit on it and then you hit it uh, while sitting uh, you know like uh, you know, stomping on some uh, box or something like that but this time around uh, slap top cajon uh, is a little bit different in terms of its uh, uh, shape uh, and it's t-shaped and I'll explain to you first the elements of this uh, special cajon that uh, I'm really happy to uh, be playing with. I've been playing this cajon since 2012. Yeah, since 2012. Um, it had been eight years and still functioning and still uh, really uh, durable and uh, strong. I'm not um, promoting any brands here, it's just my um, true uh, uh, opinion uh, uh, about this instrument and well done to Minor uh, for coming out with a great product like this. So yeah, this particular cajon has a, diff has a flat surface like normal cajon but there are several uh, uh, tones to it. Uh, the first one is actually um, the bass tone. Is normal like normal cajon as well and the second one is the snare tone and this snare tone is actually amplified by the hole here and if you feel inside the hole uh, there's this um, uh, uh, snare chain we call it uh, so that's why you you can hear a little bit uh, of a snare sound when we hit it Okay, so the bass tone and the snare tone. One extra tone for this cajon is actually, um, to me, I call it conga tone, uh, conga open tone. It's somewhere here. So you have three tones, bass, snare, and conga tone. And sometimes if you play, uh, you know, slow rock songs, uh, this particular conga tone, uh, you know, can act a little bit like the uh, tom drums. So, um, yeah, it's versatile. Actually, the sound is not too conga like, in the same time, it's not too tom like, so it's something uh, in between uh, the two tones. So, yeah, three tones. So, okay. Uh, today, uh, I will show you how I use uh, this uh, slap top cajon uh, I mean uh, in my style uh, but before anything else uh, uh, I'd like you to know that I'm, I'm a lefty I'm left handed so for uh, the right handed uh, uh, percussionist out there maybe you want to play you know the opposite way or something it's really up to you because uh, everybody's style should be unique so uh, this cajon actually comes with some um, rubber mat but this is something that I don't really um, like because it's not enough it has it has not enough uh, grip to it both left and right uh, I think it's meant uh, for your laps so that the cajon won't slide uh, to the front but because of uh, uh, the grip is not enough I really have to enhance it using something like this it's a, a anti-slip mat that you can always find in uh, automotive accessory shop uh, so you know uh, I have it for the left and right side of the cajon so I just put it on my, my laps like this and 
and the cajon on top so that, so that it's harder uh, for the cajon to slip to the front but of course you can do this more neatly it's just me that you know I don't spend much time modifying the cajon we can sort of you know just you know put it permanently here so that it, so that it looks nicer uh, when you perform anyway the function is to make sure that it doesn't slip uh, front to the front okay so I'm a lefty uh, so I keep my beats on my left uh, hand uh, in my case it's either I use uh, this soft shaker because in my opinion it really suits uh, this cajon um, uh, tones and also loudness uh, it is not too hard uh, uh, and it is soft enough to accompany uh, the beats, uh, uh, the sound of the beats coming out from this cajon. So, so my favorite for this is actually uh, Latin percussion uh, soft shake. And if you want to buy uh, this uh, shaker, I recommend you to buy the yellow colored one because there are uh, other colors like red. Uh, and blue and also the black one made also by LP but they are meant to uh, indicate that the sound is different and this is uh, one of the softest either the yellow one or the black one uh, but if you buy the red or the blue one it's gonna be uh, a little bit uh, harsher in terms of sound uh, maybe it's a bit overpowering this you know cajon volume and tones so anyway Let's have a look on uh, what sort of rhythm that I always play with this cajon. One, two, three, four. That sort of um, you know, not too fast, not too slow tempo uh, rhythm. Uh, I think I'm, uh, you know, it is really comfortable for me to to uh, to play uh, uh, using this uh, setup. Yeah, uh, I was talking about how I keep my uh, beat on my left uh, hand uh, using the shaker. Uh, sometimes, if the the song is softer like super soft i can just use one instead of two shakers so, so it can be like yeah so quite a number of things that you can do using only a uh, small number of instruments. Uh, so this is one of the instruments I used to keep my beat on, the, the soft shakers. Next one is actually the, the brush. I mean this classic brush, metal one, not the plastic one because the metal one I believe uh, will give softer sound. And uh, you know, uh, I usually use uh, only one of these when I'm playing the beat. Uh, unless I'm putting some, uh, you know, sound effects during intro or during some, uh, you know, so-called silent part uh, within the songs, you know. Yeah, it doesn't give too harsh uh, kind of sound. So, yeah, I'll show you uh, some of the rhythms, uh, maybe one of the rhythms uh, that I use uh, this brush with. Uh, this brush because it acts like our normal drumstick uh, 
but in the same time it doesn't uh, sound too harsh or too hard uh, it's soft enough to accompany this cajon so yeah this is my number two uh, beat keeper so to say uh, the metal uh, brush i don't know what's the right term for this so, but this is it you can like change the hardness of the brush by pulling it uh, inside or outwards you know like this one you're gonna have a, a harder hit if you make it to the max like this it sounds like that so it's a very versatile instrument okay uh, maybe just some of the time i use our uh, uh, you know uh, cowbell uh, but the one that i'm using here is made by lp uh, it's called Little Ridge Rider. Uh, one thing different about this uh, cowbell compared to normal cowbells is this muffler. So it means that it will muffle the sound a little bit more so that it, it can accompany the uh, cajon sound uh, better in terms of uh, loudness and level. So let's try. We can also change the tone to. quite nicely with the cajon and last but not least uh, another uh, uh, beat keeper uh, uh, of my setup uh, today is the tambourine that I play on my left foot uh, maybe some of you guys are more comfortable using your right foot it's really up to you but uh, this tambourine gives a little bit of difference between you know, give a, gives a little bit of dynamics to my playing in terms of the patterns. Uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look on how we combine uh, the shaker and the cajon and also the tambourine. Uh, first, we do it without the tambourine. Let's go in with the tambourine. Breaks, so to say, so you can adjust the friction of the bar behind these uh, 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 bar chimes to to make it slower uh, to uh, stop giving up giving up sound. So it's you have better control. Okay, and I always tell my friend that the most valuable and irreplaceable uh, element of my setup is actually my symbol. Uh, this actually I got it from a friend in Japan. Uh, this is a Sabian symbol. It's super precious to me. I piss off if uh, somebody uh, lose this when I you know when they borrow or use my stuff uh, because the because of the irreplaceability to me because not all even though you have you know same 
uh, same build make, same symbol brand, same size. Uh, for sure, it's gonna, it's not gonna sound exactly the same. So I'm afraid of losing this. But anyway, it's a Sabian uh, AA Splash, uh, ten inches. So the size is ten inches, and uh, so far I found out that uh, this symbol gives the best. Uh, accompaniment uh, to my cajon sound. So yeah, let's uh, listen to the sound of this cajon a little bit um, and I think you will know uh, what I talk about. Um, although it's small, but it's, uh, you know, you really uh, can uh, have it sound differently when you hit differently. So for example, uh, if I use if I use the uh, brush to hit at the I forgot what we call this the rim. It's gonna sound like this, and when I hit the cup, it's gonna sound different. Can you can you hear the difference? So I really appreciate the difference of this uh, sound. When you use the black part of the brush to hit the cymbal, it's going to give you a little bit of louder sound for attacks and so on. So, you know, all this stuff you have here can give you a lot of variation, maybe countless of them. Uh, it's just a few that I'm familiar and I'm comfortable using with that I'm sharing to you. But happy exploring. Uh, if you change instruments, the more variation that you will have. Uh, but this is my setup again, uh, the uh, minus slap top cajon, okay, uh, and also uh, uh, Sabian splash symbol, uh, 10 inches, and uh, a bar chime, and uh, some soft shakers, uh, and these two very important weapons, so to say, uh, the metal brush. Um, uh, a cowbell for some users once in a while and last but not least my trusted tambourine so i hope you guys enjoy this video uh, i'll be looking forward to uh, sharing more about my setup anyway i uh, i uh, plead uh, if you guys can follow us pre acoustic uh, on youtube click the uh, subscribe button and also uh, follow us on spotify we are going to release uh, a few um, singles and covers and so on with my uh, guitar partner, guitarist partner, uh, Fuan. And we are also live at the moment every week on stageit.com, uh, Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. or 9.30 p.m. Uh, uh, EST. So uh, in America, it's going to be Thursday nights. In our part of the world, Malaysia, Singapore and so on, it's going to be Friday mornings. So see you on Spotify, see you on Stage It, see you on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and so on. So take care guys, stay safe. Bye-bye.